from Fiberflux. Welcome to the 2019 Fiberflux Charity Crochet Along. This is a very special project and an idea that I've had for a long time and I'm really excited to be finally sharing it with all of you. Uh, I've been wanting to do something in the Fiberflux community relating to charity for quite a long time and this year will be the first time we've ever done it and my idea was to create kind of a community project that we could all work on together that would benefit the larger communities that we live in as a whole. So each year my goal and my aim is to pick a charity to kind of work with and create things and really extend the invitation to all of you in the Fiberflux community to join me as I make uh, projects for charity. So this year I've partnered up with the folks at the Soap Sack Charity and the, the S-A-C-K is actually an acronym for Supporting a Community with Kindness and what they do is they create these pretty little pouches with cotton yarn and they're called Soap Sacks and what they are is very easy to crochet or knit. They have a crochet pattern and a knit pattern for them on their website and I'm going to provide all the links for you below. But basically what it is is a little pouch with a loop on it and it's made with very um, inexpensive, most people have this on hand that uh, have lots of yarn like myself, um, dishcloth yarn, like cotton dishcloth yarn. And you can really get creative and make kind of color block ones and striped ones and variegated ones. I've made a few here so far. So I've challenged myself to make 100 of these soap sacks for this organization. So if you're wondering, actually, what is a soap sack? The person who started the organization is very passionate about what she does, and she started this at a really local level and got kind of picked up and has now gotten uh, national recognition for the organization. Um, and it's a really fabulous organization. But what it is basically are these little pouches. And... Um, so personal care products, there's always a dire need for personal care items such as soap. So these little pouches, you can uh, put soap in them and then they're distributed out. Now this can kind of double up as a, a sort of like a wash mitt or a pouch or, or even a storage item. So it also becomes a useful item in itself. And um, importantly, uh, just as importantly, I would say, is it, it really adds a handmade touch and really lets the recipient know that somewhere out there, somebody cares about them and you know their well-being. So these soap sacks are really easy to make. They use just double crochet stitches, very easy stitches. There are um, two patterns. There's a knit version of it and a crochet version. So knitters and crocheters can make them. And each one gets a soap, a bar of soap put into it. So um, the organization has told me they get lots and lots and lots of soap donations. Um, and they're always wanting these soap sacks. Now, I'm going to put the link to the organization down below. But I wanted to mention that um, not only can you send what you make to the organization and they kind of distribute them around, but you can also make these, they encourage you to make these at a local level. So if you have shelters around you or other places that accept uh, donations of personal care items, these are wonderful little things that you can make for a donation. Now I've started by making five and I'm going to make a personal commitment in the year of 2019 to make 100 of these. So we're going to talk a little bit more in detail. We're going to switch over to, uh, I'm going to show you these close up and kind of talk a little bit more about um, how I make these. And But there is a full video tutorial on the organization site and I'll again provide the links to those. But I'm also going to show you how I organize these, how I keep track of how many I've made. I've created a little uh, grid with 100 squares. So as I complete one, I can color it in. And again, it's just simple dishcloth yarn, which I've put into, let me just grab it real quick. I've put into this bin and uh, I kind of collected all the the t-shirt yarn, I mean not t-shirt yarn, cotton yarn that I have. Um, as you know, I am a huge fan of Red Heart Yarn and the Scrubby Smoothie is a wonderful choice for this. And I have all different colors and you can really create solid ones, uh, ones with maybe a little edging at the top. I had some variegated yarn, 
sort of a color block effect. So you can really get creative and make these really fun and kind of cheerful looking. Now again, the full pattern is on there. I found it very easy to follow. So I am going to commit to making 100 of these this year, and I want to invite all of you to do the same. So if you'd like to join me on this, um, hop on over to the Ravelry Crochet Along group. It's called the Fiberflux Cowl group, and that is our big community of uh, crochet along makers. So everyone who's doing a Fiberflux crochet along, we always have lots of them going on at once. Um, I do seasonal ones, but also year-long ones. And I'll start a thread for the Soap Sack project, and um, so you can show off how many you've done, what you intend to make. Now, if you really have a cause or a charity that's really near and dear to your heart, please share that as well. And um, like if you really love to make baby hats or if you want to make hospice shawls or something like that, the idea is to really make things for your community and to kind of reach out and help others that may need uh, assistance. So that's all. We're going to uh, kind of switch gears. I'm going to show you these a little bit more close up now. Okay, so to get started, I wanted to show you the soap sacks a little bit uh, closer up so you can see what they look like. Um, now, according to the pattern, I went ahead and pre-printed the pattern, which would be nice to keep with all of your yarn as you work through them. Um, the approximate size of the finished soap sack is four by six inches, and it's simply a pouch crocheted in the round um, with a hanging loop. Now, there's also a knit version, so if you prefer that too, um, all, both patterns can be found on the organization's website as well as video. So um, there won't be a Fiberflux video tutorial for this. You can check out the video on the site, but there is a written pattern as well. But we're going to go over all the supplies, and then as I've been making these and organizing this project, I'm going to share with you some of the tips that I'm using as well. So you can make these in solid colors. You can make them in with a stripe. I did some kind of color block look. I had some uh, variegated yarn, and I put like a solid top. But they're super duper easy to make, very simple stitches and um, you just weave uh, the ends in when you're finished, which this one I obviously obviously have not done yet, but um, they're designed to be able to accommodate the bar of soap in them. So let's talk a little bit more about the supplies. Now the pattern, if you look at the pattern, you can use uh, two different hook sizes. You can either use the five millimeter H crochet hook, or you can use the 5.5 millimeter I crochet hook. Now you'll get a little bit of a variation in sizing, but not a lot. So I made one in each size just to show you. This one was made with the H hook. This one was made with the I hook. Um, you can see it's just very slightly bigger. Not, not like totally different in sizing, but um, there is a little bit of a difference. And you can see uh, this one's a little bit more flexible. This one's a little bit more sturdy. So it's totally up to you. Um, if you want to switch hooks and rotate them and keep it interesting, you know, feel free to do that as well. But either hook would be fine. Um, the stitches are very easy. It's double crochets and chains. And like I said, there is a video on how to make these on the organization's site. So now that you know the hook size, you'll also need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends, a pair of scissors, and I uh, grabbed a pen and a highlighter, and I'm going to show you what I did with those in just a moment. But let's talk about the yarn. Now because this is for personal care products, for soap, um, you're run, you'll want to pick cotton yarn. Cotton yarn is very important. This could be used as uh, something, a pouch to put something in. It could be used as a little wash mitt, um, but it adds a, a nice personal touch to the bar of soap uh, that will be given out. So really special, uh, nice, and useful uh, little pouch. And you can really whip up a lot of these. So. The cotton yarn, um, now I happen to have lots of it because I love making dishcloths. So I have lots of this yarn on hand. It comes in tons and tons of colors. I actually grabbed a bin of it to show you. I have some red, white, ecru, gold, hot pink. And um, you can pretty much find cotton yarn in any store, just like that cotton dishcloth yarn. Now, for those of you um, who watch this channel, you know that I love Red Heart yarn. So I do use the um, the Red Heart uh, scrubby smoothie quite a bit. It's very, very soft and comes in tons of colors. I'll put the link down below for that in case you're wondering. This is also, I'm going to throw these in my bin, this is also a wonderful opportunity to use up some scraps. So I also went and grabbed, you know, all those 
those little remnants that you have, you could make some really cute, um, like I had a little bit of this hot pink, you could add a little bit of striping at the top to create an edge. If you have like two balls of this, you can do like a color block like I've done here. Um, I had just a little bit of variegated left and I got almost to the top and then added a purple border to kind of finish it off. So you can really get fun with the colors and um, it keeps the project, um, you know, fun and interesting as you work on them. So the other thing I wanted to show you, another tip I had is um, when you, whenever you take on a large project like this, you'll definitely want to get organized. So, so to organize all the yarn and my project and everything, um, I have one of those plastic drawer unit things and it has a couple of drawers and I designated one drawer to keep all the yarn. I went and kind of rounded up all of my cotton yarn and then my finished soap sacks and everything can all go inside the pattern and everything. Now one thing I also wanted to share that it helps me stay organized is keeping the pattern together, keeping a hook in there, and I also printed this. Um, I just did a simple Google search of uh, because I committed to make a hundred of them, instead of counting them, making a few, recounting them, making a few, um, I printed this, uh, it's kind of like grid paper with 100 on there. You know, you can use regular grid paper. You could just simply take a piece of paper and write one, two, three as you make them. And this will help keep track of all of the soap sacks that you've created. Now, if you're making something else, like if you want to do hats or what have you, you know, you can do the same kind of idea for that. But, you know, you can take a pen and you can just put an X through it. You can take your highlighter and you can color in the square. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and update mine. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So you can take your highlighter and just kind of go through and mark up what you have. So that way you can see at a glance, um, what you've done and how many you have to do. So I'm obviously at the very beginning of my uh, project and my commitment. So that's really all you need for this. It's a very simple little project. Um, I'll put the link down below for the organization's website. The um, person who uh, started the organization, organization is very um, sweet, very easy to uh, ask questions if you have any questions. Um, and again, you can send those to the organization, you can send them locally, and they're a wonderful um, item you can make for charity. And lots of us have this dishcloth yarn. It's very affordable. It's widely um, found in lots of stores. So if you have any questions, definitely put those below. I'll put some yarn links below. I'll put the organization link below. And I'll put the link below, too, where I uh, found this paper if you want to kind of use a chart like I did. So that is our... Uh, soap Sack Challenge, the 2019 Fiberflux Charity Crochet Along. So um, I'd love to hear what you're making. Are you doing the soap sacks? Are you doing something else? How many are you planning on making? So uh, also one more thing, if you haven't joined the Ravelry group, uh, we have a crochet along group. I'll put the link down below for that. That is a wonderful community where you can go ask questions. You can show off your work. Every time we have a crochet along, whether it be one of our seasonal ones or a year-long crochet along, I do. Uh, I start a thread and we get into a discussion. And it's a wonderful place to hang out with other people and makers doing the crochet alongs. So that is our uh, 2019 charity crochet along on Fiberflex. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.